What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our Big Ten football channel. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the SG1 Sports Big Ten football channel. My name is Evan Preco, and today we are going to discuss the quarterback situation at the University of Wisconsin. Now, Alex Hornibrook has been the starter at Wisconsin for the past three years, but now he has decided to transfer to Florida State to compete for the starting job there after suffering a concussion and missing pretty much half of the 2018 season. During his time as a starter, he completed 426 of 704 passes, which is a 60.5% completion percentage for 5,438 yards, 47 touchdowns, and 33 interceptions. In the end, that is a 138.1 QBR. Now that he has left, Paul Crisp will have to make the decision on who his starter will be in the coming fall. The two main guys that I think he will have to choose between are Jack Cohen and Graham Mertz. Jack Cohen is a dual threat option quarterback from West Sayville, New York. During his senior season in high school, he completed 158 of 220 passes for 2,162 yards, 31 touchdowns, and four interceptions. On the ground, he ran for 766 yards and 11 touchdowns, making him a dual threat option quarterback in my opinion. Cohen ended up getting a lot of playing time last year. In fact, I think that he pretty much played half of the 2018 season while Hornybrook was injured. During that time, he completed 56 of 93 passes, um, a 62, a, a, excuse me, a 60.2% completion percentage for 515 yards, five touchdowns, and three interceptions. In the pinstripe bowl victory against Miami, he was 6 of 11 for 73 yards, one touchdown in the air, another touchdown running, and one interception. Stats-wise, you know, that's not that impressive, but he really managed the game well, in my opinion, and that defense from Miami under Manny Diaz is no joke, you know, no matter what their record was. The guy that Cohen will be competing against is Graham Mertz, a very highly recruited pro-style quarterback from Mission, Kansas. According to 24-7 Sports, he is a four-star quarterback that is ranked 65th nationally, third nationally in his position, and number one overall in the state of Kansas. ESPN also has him at four stars, and they also have him ranked 21st nationally, over guys like Bo Nix, who committed to Auburn, and Spencer Rattler, who's going to Oklahoma. It is pretty surprising to me that Wisconsin was able to get Mertz to commit because, you know, that program is not really known for recruiting top 300 quarterbacks. Normally, you would expect offensive linemen and tight ends to be the big prospects that go to Madison, especially since they are a team with a power run offense. But we'll get to that here in a minute. During his senior year in high school, Mertz completed 238 of 382 passes, a 63% completion percentage for 3,883 yards, 51 touchdown passes, and only 10 interceptions. On the ground, he ran for 122 yards and four touchdowns, and he is not, you know, really known as a dual threat option quarterback, unlike Jack Cohn. When I look at these guys, it is it is difficult for me to see who should get the nod over the other because I think that they both would fit in Wisconsin's offensive scheme because it is a power run scheme and Jonathan Taylor is going to be the strength of that, of that offense. Um, Jack Cohen has more experience and is heading into his junior year while Mertz will be a true freshman, which I think gives Cohen a nod in that aspect. And Cohen also gives them a read option package because he can run, which is something that has worked really well um, in 2011 when Wisconsin had Russell Wilson under Paul Chris offense and you know before Wilson no one had ever seen a dual threat quarterback in Madison ever since Barry Alvarez took over as coach in the early 1990s. Um, Mertz like quarter like Hornybrook excuse me would act more like a pocket passer making him one dimensional but since the workload will be carried on Jonathan Taylor instead of him you know it's not necessarily a disadvantage to be a pocket passer for Mertz in that aspect. And with that, because of the experience, I think that Jack Cohn will get the nod as the starting quarterback come September. And it honestly wouldn't surprise me if they gave Mertz maybe some playing time early in the season against, you know, in games against Power 5 teams, and then they could redshirt him for the rest of the year to give him an extra year of eligibility. But you never know with those things. But yeah, I personally think that Cohn will be the starter come fall, but I could be wrong. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Cohn will start, or will Paul Chris choose Mertz over him? Or do you guys think that a different guy could start, like Chase Wolf or Danny Vandenboom? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to our main SG1 Sports channel as well. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.